Oh, scales. The most dreaded thing that I get asked about all the time. The process is so painful. There's one video I'll link in the description that like, it makes my mind bleed, bro. I just left them off all of my lure designs because there's just too much work for what I consider to be very little gain. But every other week, I'm getting this. Hey buddy, I need to make some scales. Bro, how do I make some scales on my lure? Like, oh God, there's gotta be an easier way. So then, one day, the patron saint of lure makers, Larry Dahlberg, gives me a vision into my brain. This is how to make scales in Fusion 360. Let's jump into Fusion 360. And I'm gonna blow your mind. So once you get your lure body designed all up, it's a lipless crankbait I'm making. More videos on this cool lure coming out very soon. The first thing we're gonna do is we're going to create an outline of where we want our scales to be on the lure. And it doesn't really matter where you put them here, but you want these, this line, this outline, to be inside of the boundaries of your lure. That's kind of important. So then we're going to use our old friend, the extrude command. Now there's a couple of important things that you want to think about when you're doing this extrude command. First thing you want to set it to from object and select your lure body as the object. That's going to make sure it has the contour of the lure. Next up, we want to choose our thickness. And this is how high your scales are going to be off the lure. Generally speaking, I like them to be relatively small. In this case, we're gonna use half a millimeter. So choose that, and most importantly, choose new body. This is what's gonna ultimately become our scales. All right, we're done, and you can see that we now have this little kind of raised surface area on our lure. So let's turn off our main lure body and work just with this. Next up, we create another sketch. Again, on this side plane, and we're gonna do a very simple pattern for this one. First step is to create these diagonal lines. Draw one line, I'm gonna use the rectangular pattern, pull it past my scale body here, and then I just kinda eyeball the number that I wanna use. It's gonna be different for every lure you make. Um, you know, the fewer lines you put in here, the bigger your scales are gonna be. The smaller, the, the more lines you put in here, the smaller your scales are gonna be. So I just chose 30 because it looked good. Click done. We are ready for some magic. One of the things that led me to this technique was the new thin extrude command in Fusion 360. And that lets you take lines and extrude the lines at a certain thickness. You used to have to go through this crazy process of offsetting lines, connecting them together to make solid faces. This is a huge time saver. What I do is I click extrude. I wanna click the thin extrude option up here. I wanna select all of my lines. Easy way to do that is click and drag right to left across either the top or the bottom of these points. Select them all. Then you'll see I have this thickness parameter. This is how thick my lines are gonna be. And again, this is going to have impact on your size of your scales as well. So in this case, I'm just gonna choose 0.5. You know, you do you, it's gonna be different for every lure. I would suggest start smaller before you go bigger. Then we just drag this extrude out over the width of our lure, right? We just wanna make sure we're cutting our whole body here, right? And Fusion's probably gonna start kind of choking here because it doesn't like what you're doing. You're bending reality, bro. Click done and you can see what we have already. This is already looking pretty sweet. And I bet you know what we're gonna do next. Same process, but we're gonna angle our lines across our previous lines. So like opposite, like cross hatchy wise. Boom. So draw them, select them, extrude them. Now at this point, Fusion really hates you. It just really hates dealing with all these little niggly objects everywhere. So let's fix that. Let's turn back on our lure body. And now we're gonna use the combine command to fuse these into our lure. We click combine. For the target body, we select our lure body. And for tool bodies, we're gonna select all of our scales. And the easiest way to do that that I find is to use the list over on the left-hand side. Click tool bodies, 
click the first scale, scroll down to the bottom, hold the shift key, click the last scale. They're all selected. You wanna select join, click okay. And Fusion is gonna throw its last hissy fit in this whole process as it tries to combine all this stuff together. And now we have half a lure body with scales. That's not good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna split this body in half using the split body command. Click split. Choose again this kind of back and forth face here that's cutting through the middle of this lure. Click OK. Now you have two halves. We're gonna select the half that we don't have scales on. Just hide it. You don't have to delete it, just hide it, bro. It didn't hurt you. Then we're gonna use the mirror command. So select mirror from this menu over here. Select your body with scales. Again, select the same plane we just used to split. I use join. You can use new body here if you wanna actually print two separate halves and glue them together later. No one wants to do that, but you could. So I'm gonna select join, click okay, and then boom, we have scales on both sides of our lure. Here's some more design videos for you to check out if you're interested. Take care, tight lines.